Hey Simmons, welcome back to Simpit Academy. In this video, we are going to look at two panels, the fuel panel as well as the external light panel, which finally has something different other than goggles. It will have rotary switches as well. So before we begin, why bother building a Simpit? Two reasons. One is now we can print our own panels. Those out there in the market, some websites selling panels for the A10C, Apache, the Viper, the Hornet, the panels can cost between 30 to 100 bucks, for example. And if you design in FreeCAD and print using a 3D printer, it is much cheaper, a few dollars for a $25 for a PLA roll and then you can print many panels. So the other reason is some of some of you still use track IR and big monitors and you can see switches. So that is fine, but I find it not immersive. I fly VR, however VR it's immersive but you can't see the switches. So the best combination is mixed reality. Like a couple of people on YouTube have started using the Quest 3 F and have demonstrated that um, you can do mixed reality in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 as well as DCS. So that is um, the coolest way to play DCS with a cockpit. Okay, looking at the fuel panel first, um, some toggles, small ones and pull the turn and you need to build a small um, toggle guard. So this is the panel, all the holes and the dimensions as shown and as usual Make some recesses and locking holes. Follow the uh, dimensions here. And then to do this, you have to click on the side and draw an arc. And I will demonstrate this. Arduino is simple, still two and three way toggle, nothing new here. And then assign the pins. And you have a working fill panel with all the switches. So this is how it looks like when completed. Next we look at the external light panel. This one notes notice that the real thing the rotation is much bigger and looks like a 60 degree rotation. Anyway, because I use the knurled rotary switch that has only 30 degrees, so I have to do this 0 and this is like 90, so 30, 60, 90. And I go all the way here, 7 positions for both. So I don't mind that it looks slightly different, so it depends on you. Small toggles, rotary switches, node 30 degrees, and then we have this special knob which I call the curved bar because it's like a bar and then you curve at the side. I will show how to build this as well. So nothing new here, typical panel. And this one, you want to draw some lines like this. With the space bar, you will turn it on and off, okay, to help you align. As long as you don't pad the lines, it's not going to show, which I prefer not to. Then, roughly when it's pointed, roughly in the directions, I know what it's pointing to without having to align up exactly with the line. 
So for the bar, we the main thing is to trim this circle and rectangle to get this. And then you click the side and fillet and voila, you have a nice curve on the on the side. Okay. Pucker the hole at the base and draw this arrow. When this when you do the arrow is flat on the top. Before you pad, you need to edit the dimension of the sketch and bring it up in the x in the z axis what up one mm you then it's floating then when you pet you will fill this and touch the top here as well as fill the side here okay all these little tricks and assign the for rotary switches you will state the number of pins and then obviously here you have you need to have seven matching numbers so, i mean seven matching um number of pins okay so both here and you are done for this so this is how it looks like when it's done i didn't bother sanding it will look better if you sand the sides and without the curve actually all these knobs panels um it's not very obvious so if you are lazy you can just use everything as is and also i didn't paint this i just used a winter gray colored pla so it comes out like this okay so no spraying you just use the white marker to draw the lines and the text and now time to demo all this all right, for Arduino wiring, we have already seen toggle switches, how to do them in several videos. So I'm just gonna focus on one rotary switch here, although we need two for this panel. So looking at the bottom of the rotary switch, you can see that the numbers go counterclockwise, one to 12 like this. So this is how I've shown it here. If you do two, three, four, five, you start here, the pin one, two, three, four. So you just go all the way seven, seven times for each switch. And then you would have wired up the Arduino board. Okay, I'm not going to demo the creation of panels, recesses, text, lines, all this have been demonstrated in three videos so we are going to do this over here so new body sketch create this not from the origin you want it around the origin so that we can create a circle here so first of all this is about 28 16 and you want to have it centered for you click on the edges and click one of the axes and symmetry this two symmetric now it's centered okay do circle click here make sure this is switched to diameter and not radius 6.8 right so then we close add 1 mm then instead of clicking at the top as usual or at the bottom, you click at the side to do a sketch. And then you want to have these two points here first. So we do a line. 
like this and we state the distance 11.5 11.5 oops and create a point and say it is 5 then do an arc make sure that this touches this it will turn color to yellow and then touch here okay and you have your arc so close this and when you pad you want to reverse that go the other way and then reduce it down to one okay repeat the same thing click here create a sketch and then you can fill in the corners by selecting and control all the four corners and do a filling. Alright, so this is how you do this toggle guard. Okay, to create this circle with lines and angles, you want to state the size the maximum distance, uh, maximum diameter of the knob. So the knob will be slightly smaller, but you want to have a circle of a size where roughly the, <clears throat> the text will be touching, that it will be close, but not too close to the knob. So let's say we have a panel and this hole for the rotary switch and we close and pad then we create another sketch and then we create another circle to align it's this one is this example is like 20 by 15 so you'll match the original hole so here you state that the size diameter is 30 okay 30 here and you draw lines this one by default you should go vertical and then you create more you touch the center and then touch the edge of the circle and then you repeat okay see this one is horizontal this is vertical so this two you want to say using this icon angle and you say it's 30 and then you can do this and this 30 or you can do this and this 30 All right, so it's 0, 30, 60, 90, and then you can add a few more, and then you have all the seven positions. Okay, so place your text around it, and if you don't want to show these lines, you can just press spacebar and the lines will disappear. Okay, so this is how you place text around such that they look like a circular position next we look at how to create this curved bar knob so create a base of 22.5 new body sketch xy plane Two point five pad four close pad four then ten total distance of ten. Okay, create a new sketch and do this. Uh, 
height of 10 and you want equal distance so this this and the horizontal axis symmetry right now we want this circle so do an arc click here touch this line touch this line and then same thing here Oops. gotta start from here again touch once you touch it you will change color to yellow and then you're done so if you click this it selects the whole line so we need to trim so do this you go away and then select this two and delete okay so now we pad 15 close pad 15 all right then fillet six so select this here and control make sure it's only this line okay now both lines are selected and fillet six okay then you can fillet another you fillet the top Right, pocket the bottom 15 size 6.2. Okay, do this sketch. Six point two close pocket fifteen and then the arrow you do top sketch and we want to create okay to create the arrow we start with this and then align and join then we trim away this and the center then we state the dimensions make this two level then when we make this symmetry and then this is two 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 point five five okay move it around everything still seem to stay joined together then we want to move the z axis up a little bit then we pad now we pad reversed and it appears and you just keep adding it into the bottom and done If you appreciate this kind of detailed tutorials, 
please like and subscribe so that we can help the channel grow and we can let more people know how to build cockpits fast and cheap. Thanks for watching.